Treasurer Josh Frydenberg. Treasurer, um, you have been resisting calls for a localised JobKeeper style support program for Victoria. Are you giving in? Are you going to come to the party on this? Well, I've had constructive discussions with my counterpart in Victoria and the Prime Minister has spoken to the acting Premier and uh, we'll have more to say uh, in due course. But we do recognise oh. that with the extension of the uh, lockdown in Victoria, uh, there is a need uh, and there is obviously a lot of pain that families and businesses yeah. have been going through. Uh, we have been there every step of this crisis for not just Victorians but for the Australian yep. people and as you said, Koshi, in yesterday's national accounts, you saw the product of that support with Australia, Australia's economy rebounding back very strongly and Australia being ahead yeah. of the world in seeing our economy today bigger than it was going into this pandemic. So when are you going to announce it? Because you've leaked a lot of it to the newspapers by the look of it this morning. Um, in due course, what does that mean? Today? <laughs> Well, I'm not going to preempt um, any decisions or well, announcements with you today. Uh, well, what uh, we have consistently said at my press conference yesterday uh, and elsewhere is that any support provided to Victoria or indeed uh, other states would be done on a nationally consistent basis, would be temporary, it would be targeted, it would be through existing systems. Uh, they are the principles okay. that served us very well from the start of the crisis and, the and will continue and the to serve state us going to match up 50-50? Well, there is obviously a recognition at the state level that they have to make a significant contribution and we have right. had to date constructive discussions with them. So it will be the 50-50? The well, again, um, there are mechanisms for shared responsibilities here, uh, but when we do know that the federal government has already delivered around three times what the Victorian government has delivered to right. uh, Victorian families and businesses. Yeah. Will you need to borrow that money to put in? Because I noticed that not only the great economic growth figures that came out yesterday, but the budget deficit for this financial year, which in, ends at the end of this month, mm. uh, you're $40 billion ahead of what you predicted just back in December. Well, every dollar we spend is a borrowed dollar right now. And as you know, uh, we've had to spend in a very significant fashion during this crisis, which has helped prevent a generation of Australians becoming long term unemployed. But what we did see on budget night was an improvement in the bottom line by the tune of more than $50 billion for this financial year. We'll wait, obviously, uh, to square the ledger at the, at the end of uh, the financial year. But there has been an improvement and it's been largely driven uh, by more Australians getting into work. The unemployment fell in April to 5.5 per cent and we now have more Australians in work than, than going yeah. into this pandemic. And, and that's what's, I know you've got to go but just quickly, that's what's fueled this leap in economic growth hasn't it? That uh, more people in work means less people on welfare and more tax you can get. Well, Koshi, the good news out of yesterday's numbers were that it was a private sector-led recovery. We saw household consumption up as families feel more confidence to go out and spend. We saw dwelling investment up as the housing market goes from strength to strength and uh, federal initiatives help put Australians into their first home, as well as business investment up off the back of significant incentives that we announced in the budget. Normally, businesses go on a capital strike during a recession. This time, they yeah. haven't off the back of federal in incentives. That's going to make our economy stronger today and into the future. Yep, there are a good set of numbers. Treasurer, thanks for joining us. My pleasure.